Here's a kiln that you'll find at some schools. It's a scut automatic kiln, which is nice. No need for cones, no need for nothing, which is really cool. Very simple, easy to use and to program. So you begin firing the kiln, you always hit the stop button. Then I go to cone fire, I'll do preheat. You preheat things that you want to dry out and stuff like that is what you want to do. You don't have to um, do that, but it's a good thing to have there to have that happen. I hit enter, I select my cone. Usually for most people elementary level, 04 is what we want to go with. 04 is a good temperature to fire to. You can use it for your low fire glazes, also setting up your pieces. Hit enter on that one. You want to always go, the first firing is always going to be slow. Especially because it could be moisture still in the clay, whatever you want to be. When you do a high fire, not high fire, a glaze fire, you only can do medium speed is what you can do. So I'll head it there. And then you have a hold time. You don't have to hold the kiln for firing. It doesn't really matter on that one. You shouldn't have to worry about that. So go ahead and just hit enter there. And then there you go. And then I'll say stop again. Like, oh my gosh, what happens? Well, all I got to do is come up here, hit the start button. You'll say on and it will begin to fire. You'll hear it kind of clicking, make that clicking sound is what it's going to do. And the process will begin. Usually a first fire will take about uh, 10 to 12 hours. And then a glaze fire will take about six to eight hours, depending on how heavy the load is. Hopefully this help you make your scut automatic kiln work.